Let's solve this problem. Evaluate the following integral. So we have the integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. So actually, this integral can be evaluated using integration by parts. But I won't use the typical formula for integration by parts given by integral of u dv equal to uv minus integral of pdu to solve this problem. But I will use the so-called di method or the derivative integral method. So using the di method, we will use functions to be differentiated and integrated from the given integral. Okay, so the first priority that we must choose is the function that can be easily integrated. So we have cosine 3x or e raised to 2x. So which one can be integrated easily? Actually, both of them can be integrated easily. So I will just use cosine 3x for the function to be integrated. And then automatically, the remaining function e raised to 2x will be the one that we will differentiate. And then on the side, we will just have a sign convention alternating positive and negative sign. So we have plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. So we just extend these alternating signs depending on how many times we will differentiate and integrate. So let's start differentiating e raised to 2x. So differentiating e raised to 2x, we will have e raised to 2x. Then by chain rule, we still need to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Or I can just write it in front. So we will have 2 e raised to 2x as the first derivative. And then we also get the integral of cosine 3x. So if we let u be equal to 3x, getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du, derivative of 3x is 3 dx. So we have created this dx term on the original integral, but we just have an extra coefficient of 3, so let's get rid of that by dividing both sides by 3. So we will have du over 3 is equal to dx. Substituting on the original integral, we will have cosine of 3x which is equal to u. And then this dx is now equal to du over 3. So this over 3 is just a constant of 1 third. So let's put it in front of the integral. So we have 1 third integral of cosine u du. So we have 1 third times the integral of cosine u du that will be positive sine u plus c. And then don't forget, let's transform back the u in terms of the original variable 3x. So we will have 1 third sine 3x plus c. But I will just get this 1 third sine 3x without the plus c. So we already have the first integral 1 third sine 3x. And then let's try to differentiate again. This time, the 2 e raised to 2x. So we will have 2 times the derivative of e raised to 2x again. That's e raised to 2x times 2. Or if we multiply 2 times 2, that will be 4. So we have 4 e raised to 2x. Now let's evaluate the integral of 1 third sine 3x dx. So this 1 third is just a constant. I can just put in front of the integral first. So we have 1 third integral of sine 3x dx. Applying u substitution again, I can let u be equal to 3x. Getting the derivative of both sides, derivative of u is du. Derivative of 3x is 3 dx. So again, this dx is already created. Let's just get rid of this extra coefficient of 3 by dividing both sides by 3. So we will have du over 3 is equal to dx. Substituting in the original integral, we will have 1 third times the integral of sine 3x which is now equal to u. And then this dx is equal to du over 3. Again, we can put this 1 third in front of the integral. So we will multiply this 1 third times this 1 third. So we will have 1 third times 1 third or 1 9 integral of sine nu du. And what is the integral of sine nu du? That will be negative cosine nu plus c or we will have negative 1 9 cosine nu plus c. But let's transform back the u in terms of 3x. So we will have negative 1 9 cosine 3x plus c. So let's just disregard first the plus c for now and just get the main integral which is negative 1 9 cosine 3x. 
Okay. So, when are we gonna stop differentiating and integrating? Actually, we can stop now because this falls under case 2 when we are evaluating integrals using the I method wherein if we have created the form of the original integral e raised to 2x cos 3x to the product of the terms in the last row. So, if we multiply e raised to 2x times cos 3x, it resembles the original integral. Even if we disregard the coefficient, as long as the mean functions are the same, e raised to 2x and cos 3x, that's the time that we can stop differentiating and integrating. Okay, so how do we write now the final answer? So, let's multiply the diagonal terms and then considering also the sign at the side. So, we will have positive e raised to 2x times 1 third sin 3x. So, we have e raised to 2x, then this 1 third, then the sin 3x. Next, negative 2 e raised to 2x times negative 1, 9 cos 3x. So, that will be positive because negative times negative is positive. For the coefficient 2 times 1, 9, that will be 2 ninths. And then, copy the e raised to 2x and cos 3x. Now, here's the deal. So, we still need to add the integral of the product of the terms on the last row. So, we will have 4 e raised to 2x times negative 1, 9 cos 3x dx. Or, if we, if we multiply the constants, 4 times negative 1, 9, that will be negative 4 nines. We can just put them in front of the integral. So, I'll just copy this first two term. And then, if we put the constant in front of the integral, we will have negative 4 ninths integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. Okay, remember that this value of the integral is equal to the one that we are getting, which is this integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x. So, I can equate this right side terms to the integral of e raised to 2x cos 3x on the left. So, notice that we have the same integral form on the left and right side, which is the integral of e raised to 2x cos 3x dx. So, we can combine them. I can transpose this negative 4 ninths integral of e raised to 2x cos 3x dx to the left side. So, we will have integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. So, from negative on the right, if we transpose to the left, it will become positive 4 ninths integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. And then, we can just copy the terms on the right side. And we can combine these two integrals. So, this first integral has an invisible coefficient of 1. If we add 1 plus 4 ninths, that will be 1 and 4 ninths. So, let's transform into improper. 1 and 4 ninths is the same as 13 over 9. And then, times the integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. And then, copying the same terms on the right. So, what we want to solve here is just the integral of e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. So, we just get rid of the coefficient 13 over 9 by dividing both sets by 13 over 9. So, we can cancel this. We are left with e raised to 2x cosine 3x dx. So, we just simplify these expressions on the right side. I will have to multiply this numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator 13 over 9 which is 9 over 13. So if we distribute this 9 over 13 to every term, so if we have 9 over 13 times 1 third, I can cancel out the 3, 9 becomes 3. So we are left with 3 over 13. Then times e raised to 2x sine 3x. If we multiply 9 over 13 to the constant on the second term, we can cancel the 9, 
we will be left with 2 over 13 then times this e raised to 2x cosine 3x and don't forget to put the plus c at the end so therefore this will be the final answer okay so now it's your turn so try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers